And we're back! Bringing you part three! Part th three! Uh, what is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Oh. Clarissa. Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was uh, worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She's not she's scared. Not sort of scared. Like in dire straits, actual trouble right now scared? Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition of trouble there is, so... Understandable. Well, that door seems to be, uh, locked. Ren so said we'll something just... about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, yes. and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned, and there's, like, still people, like, They'd have more in there, like, doing stuff? I think if they had alien autopsies or whatever you're suggesting is happening in there, we'd have been taken out by snipers about 50 paces back. Maybe. But listen, like, what if, just, what if all the stuff that's like happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing is like the direct result of some government secret project? It's like, it's not locked. There's like something blocking it. Clarissa! She wouldn't have barricaded herself inside, right? What do you think? Keep looking? Mm. Let's keep looking. We should keep looking. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. I'm always right. No, I'm not. Let's go up here. Because I already know that I'm going to have to use the radio up here. So, let's do that. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Okay. Alright, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the door. Sure. Ooh. What does the sign say? Oh. Then what does the sign say as they pop up? Stupid me. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Definitely not ready to get my pants scared off of me. Are you coming or what? Oxen free. It's still me with the soccer ball. Me with the soccer ball. Waiting for the loading screen. Oh, and we're back. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, guess what? The door's locked. locked. Come it's on. gonna be locked. I uh, can't go back now. We didn't really need to go back anyway, right? Unless there's no way out, then yes, we might have. Mm -hmm. Well, sure we'll got through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? Uh, annoyingly, yes. Yes, quite annoyingly. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just um, trying to... Well, you know, you'd yeah, have to ask him what he was into, I guess. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? I mean, just, what would a guy like that see in her? Like, mm -hmm. at least at the start, there must have been uh, something, right? Well, it's kind of wild. Girls go for assholes, and guys go for psychos for the same stupid reason. They're interesting. For a while. But that crap gets old fast. Huh. Okay. It's just, uh, interesting, I guess, to me. Uh, what type do you What's go for? What's your type? Blonde, right? Nose ring? No, no. Tall, brunette, maybe a big hat, red raincoat, lots of mystique, been around the world. Somebody like... You're describing Carmen San Diego. Oh, yeah. You know, that <laughs> kind of explains a lot. That's funny. Ah. Oh. 
Can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kind of... I don't know. Uh, kind of yeah, it's strange. Yeah, it's, it's just strange to see it like this. Look at everything. Stuff like this. I always thought it was pretty. Kind of like... I don't know, kind of like the buildings being reclaimed by the trees and the soot the soil, you know? Well, right now it just looks like scary tentacles, so... In the daytime, this is pretty much skater mecca. I can tell. Guess I'm just following you, bro. Following you up the stairs of... I can't... Hey, that's... Okay. Hey, don't just leave me here, Jonas! Uh, okay, that door is gonna. Jonas, what happened? Are, are you all right? Uh... Jonas, can you hear me? That was really creepy because I didn't even see her. I just saw the red eyes. Yeah, okay. Well. Yeah. Ah! I'm scared. Stop doing that. Light testing, switch. testing. Um, okay. I can't I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here and it's just a room, so like riddle me that, first of all, and then second of all, I can't get out. Mm. The door opened like a second ago. Can't you Are you sure you're just not turning? Major Nelson! Hello, are you... Look, is someone there? Don't let Jonas talk to his mom. It's not good for him. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. W what is... Hmm. I, I can't hear anything outside of... Okay, what just happened? Because that... That sucked. Uh, a bunch uh, of brainstorm stuff. Clarissa ran in there, disappeared into the walls, yeah, and... Yeah, I'm not really one to hate stuff, but I hated all of that. Okay, well. I mean, you asked me what happened, and I oh, told you. Oh, here's a padlock code. 3418. It's on a list of... Huh. They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo. So, great. Hey, did I... Did, did you see that? In... In the mirror, the reflection was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me like fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now. So. Wait, seriously? I'm gonna take a picture, see if the flash will make something happen. Seems all right now. I don't know. I'm kind of like scared. It wasn't anything. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. All right, well. Uh, there was something else back here. Radio. Is this what you were talking to me on? Yep. Old girl did the trick. You think maybe uh, Clarissa was using this before? You know, to call mm -hmm. us and everything. It was locked. Remember? It was locked. Remember? How could she have gotten in? Same way I did. But then I don't really know how she could have gotten out. Radio locks. The technology here has always been... It's like primitive and from the future. Yeah, no, it's something. Alright, well... Let's go! That was really creepy. Major Nelson telling me not to do something. Three, four, eighteen, and voila! Uh... Sure. <sighs> Can we go? Just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so let's just carry on. Alright, let's go, please. I don't want any creepy. Oh, let's go show the new photo of the mirror. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, what is that? Ugh! Heebie jeebies. That's not creepy at all. Why is she smiling? <sighs> the 
Da. My phone on. It's on vibrate, so let me mute that so it doesn't go off. Okay. Ah! I'll look at it again. Oh, I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I thought I'd, you know. Oh my god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. This is... If the knight needed a capper, this is it. Right here. My vagrant new stepbrother. Peeing on a rat. Don't look at me! Uh, no, I'm not gonna say anything. I'll be, I'll be kind. There. I hit the button to climb out. What happened? Um, oh, okay. That was weird. I didn't want to climb out. Whoa! Larissa! Okay, that was definitely her. What is she? Is this just like a game to her or something? What is she thinking? I mean, I'm freaking out too, but like, relax, honey. This might be like a Nona situation where she's just uh, losing it a bit. And you know, it just occurred to me, she could also be having like a Ren episode. She a could. Episode, possessed or whatever we want to call it. Um, uh, Ren could barely move though. Ren acted like he was underwater. The guy could barely move. Yeah, well, that's true. Hello? Is this thing, is this, God, is this, is this going out, or, wait, I can, oh, I can hear myself, that's oh, not, man, God, she didn't see us, I don't know, but, whatever, she still has a radio, so we still gotta get to her. <laughs> Surround sound with this thing? Alright, um. Uh, handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing, teenagers. The evil! <laughs> Clearly, it's the, uh, the evil, obviously. First they finger paint, then they wear our lungs like scarves. Yeah, well, somebody's got to keep the traditions alive. What was that? You... you heard that, right? Something just fell. Relax. I'm sure a bird landed on a piece of loose masonry or something. Probably. Uh. High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey, kids, want to play a game? Uh. The Navy? Talking about... It's talking about the Navy? Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Hey, why are we being tested? Kind of scared. What did we do? Here's a simple one to start. So don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was just like a, a fort. Seven. Uh, this one. Army Radio Communication School. That's the stuff, Charlie. Now you're swinging. It all goes into your final rating. You want to get a good rating, don't you? Kind of like scared to like mess this up. You want to be a good soldier? Why the hell would you um... want to be a good soldier? Why do you care what I want or don't want or anything? I didn't come here for this. Yeah, we really, really didn't come here for this. Why should we care? They didn't care. Oh, ah! Jesus. What is going on? Uh, I'm gonna be sick. Uh, I feel like I'm stuck on a tilt a whirl. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who Ten. would know that? He's cookies. Codes. Cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded We're radio transmitters cookie. have an important job. And you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Mm. Uh, no. no. I mean, like any job, right? That's creepy, like, like the red eyes. Right. We are an Duh. island race. 
And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. But be wary, young ones. All right, if I'm answering the questions, you can leave Jonas out of it, okay? One last <laughs> round, and you've cleared your exam. And the... you're ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. The other ships. Nine. To sail them. Above all Eight. victories, beyond all loss. Seven. Eighty-five. Correct. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers, twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just Can another let my fact. Stepbrother, go. Definitely trippy. Jonah, are you okay? The Jonas. The state submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today. Lost at sea, near. Is this... Are you the dead officers that sunk on the Canaloa? We are the sunken. Interesting. What... What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Time. Just... Time. Okay. What? I... That... Was... Not fun. Uh, you right? Are you... Feeling... Better? I'm feeling... Let's start with that. This has been United News. And thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Anyone? Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. I agree. Let's go. Can you go this way? No. Um... Where is he at? Uh, bro? Oh, he's right there. Do we go back the way we came? I don't think we do. Yeah, we definitely don't. Yeah, the door is locked. Look at my flashlight, it's gone. Ow! If I was them, at this point, I'd just be scared shitless, to be honest. <sighs> uh, okay, let's go back inside. Oh, now I can open the door. That's just great. Have like grief, they they Cross can possess uh, you. Uh, Clarissa. Oh well, look at this. The super twins decided to grace me with their presence. 
I thought maybe I wasn't good enough for a house call, doctor. So, um, are you? Are you all right? I mean, yeah. Why? Yeah, sure. My hair might be a little weird, but you not a lot sounded I distressed. About that. You just sounded really distressed. That's all. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm fine now. So. All right. Where's this famous radio? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Uh, I will. Yeah. No. This is. This is like a low frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't. I don't think it can beam out. Really? No, no, no. Isn't there a way? Any officers who know your problems phone well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Oh! Uh, Jonas? Jonas? Wait, we're in another. We got looped again. Crap. Well, just keep me in the loop. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Clarissa! Is there anything like Oh we god! Something? Oh. <sighs> Holy crap. What is it? Is something wrong? Um. Or not? <sighs> Look, Clarissa might be dead. Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Better gone than dead. Oh, maybe this was the the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to I mean, she got it to kind of work, so... It's not gonna work, Jonas. That was really huh? fucked up. How do you know? Clarissa. Cla Clarissa, what are you doing? Alex, don't worry. She's like... Never she's like random. Clarissa, will you Fighting wake up? Respect. There will be other ships. And other souls to sail them. Okay. Yo! Oh my god! Why would she do that? Okay. Why would she do that? She she was she was like possessed. I I, I just I, I just uh, this is Jonas, this is so horrible. It's fucked up. I don't This game's masterpiece. I don't even know what to We We should get to the others. I I can't even imagine telling him. Or or how to tell them I'm we'll we'll figure it out this is unbelievable um she's not here what the fuck oh, I thought I couldn't wow um there's no way she got up from that right like there's no way wait she she's uh I can't think of the appropriate word here dead the word is dead she should be dead Alex I should be dead. You're absolutely right there, Jonas. Didn't say Jonah that time. But she's not. And that's the important thing, is when you jump off of five-foot story buildings, you don't die. Remember that, kid. No, I'm just kidding. You do. Don't. Don't jump off of five. Don't. Don't be stupid. Don't jump off of five story. Don't be possessed on an island out in the middle of nowhere, and don't jump off five-story building. <sighs> Let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at anything. Uh, go back to the comm tower. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let me go this way. We'll get back to the comm tower, and then we'll call that an episode. Oh. Like any day now. Come on. Mayday. May. Oh crap. This isn't. Ren, this is just coming out of the speakers on the roof thing. It's uh -oh. No, it's not. The entire island. You silly goose. You silly sausage. You thought that it was just on the roof of the radio tower. What you didn't realize is that by the spectrum of the Illuminati that it's everywhere. I don't know what that was, I was just... Hey! Hey! I... I saw you guys coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me, it's all I have left. How's Nona doing? We heard what I imagine was her first radiocast ever earlier. Yeah, no, she's... I don't know. 
I mean, she's frazzled one moment, then that makes me frazzled, then she sees that I'm frazzled, so she, like, freezes up. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope. No luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was gonna be a big karma dump. Well, we're all here now. Well, I mean, except Clarissa, but we're mostly all here, and we'll come up with something. I hope so. The stupid radio's been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing its thing. Wait, second brownie? Ren, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? Mmm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, mm. you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what- You better pray to whatever god scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not, that's not nice. Oh, god. All right, let's go talk to Nona. I love how they like wait for you to completely clear it before they start climbing up. So you like start climbing up and you're like, oh my god, they're not gonna show up. And then you're like, oh wait, yes they are, because they're climbing up right now. <sighs> this thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's hey, like... Hey, Nona. I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry I was, like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been, uh, like, it's, it's been ghosts. ghosts. Nona, ghosts are going on. The blackouts, the hallucinations, it's all been ghosts. Ghosts? Really? Yeah, and it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. Oh, oh, I got it. This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. Her house is behind a giant gate. Manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know... They have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not gonna go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident burnout. Hey, hey, come on. I'm not well, a... Well, what other plan is there? it's the best plan, but what other plan is there really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop, and these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. Wait, set, set fire, fire to, the mug, to the mug shop? I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? Uh, oh, shut up, everybody. Look, here's something cool. A phone. Let's stop making Alex uncomfortable and talk about this instead. But Ren, look at reality. You dragged us out here. You had Alex bring the little death machine. Stop saying it was my fault. It wasn't. It's nobody's fault. Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with uh, each other. Okay, Jonas is not a weirdo. Just take a step back, all right? Jonas isn't a weirdo. He's a... he's a good guy. What? Your good guy is like deploying a missile barrage of insanity on me right now. Sorry. Carry on. I know you said Ren is like harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be too. I don't need a pass from you. Guys, I stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what caveman Jonas says. Not here with her. There what is, is a that? boat. 
at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Yeah, yeah. it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever. I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. Just shut up, both of you. Sorry. <laughs> okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night. Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller. Who do you want coming with you? Jonas. Jonas. Let's go. Ah, <sighs> thank you. What? First you ditched me back in town to talk to this guy about God knows what, and now that stuff's gone crazy, you're still picking him over me? Him? Uh, yeah. Him. Him? Uh, Ren, we're still doing on. your plan. It'll be fine. We'll watch the walkie-talkie. Ren, we're still, we're still doing your whole plan you came up with. Who cares if you're on the home or the away team? I want to be on the Alex team. I want to feel like, like, I want to be like, needed. Just, just fine. Whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh, God. <laughs> Will you just shut up? Okay. Before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. Okay. So we gotta go find the gate key. Alright. Yeah, I was just gonna pick Jonas because, like, he's already been with us. Rin ate another pop brownie, so who knows what he's gonna turn into. Um... This is just a logical solution. Nona's very quiet, so... I'm okay with Jonas getting possessed. I'm just... Uh... Mm -hmm. Walking back to the little thing. Boop, boop, boop. And now I'm leaving Rin with Nona for them to get together. noise it makes. Go to Epiphany Fields. Okay, look, I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do, uh, yeah, we do, do not way. want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important because I don't think anything that I said was that off base. Well, if you're going to say you're sorry, I guess the floor is yours. I'm sorry. I am. I didn't mean it to get that far. Look, it's okay. Uh, and I just want to mm. clear the air, too, just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo against me. But... You might have heard that I, uh, went to jail at some point. I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to Ju juvenile detention for it. And I just wanted you to know so it wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. Why'd you do it? Why'd you, um, why'd you do it? Just, my mom got sick and then she got real sick and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head and yes, he was joking, but I don't know, I just popped. Yeah, it was as stupid as it sounds, and I'm what not going to defend him? myself. What happened to the other guy? Hospitalized. Not for a while, but, you know, I tried to visit him after I got out, but he wouldn't see me. My mom found out, of course, and I never really squared it with her in a way that, I don't know, things never really work out the way you want, you know? But, whatever. Are you... Are you okay? It's not like I'm sick or whatever. I'm fine. I'm not gonna say I'm a good guy, Alex. But I'm trying to be. And that's really about all I can say. You, you are a good are guy. You are a good guy, Jonas. I'm a scary judge of people. I'm like a bee. I can sense stuff. <laughs> but I'm serious now. You're a good guy. Okay? Say it. I'm a good guy. Okay, alright. I'm a good guy. Let's just move on. 
So there's an achievement for this game. You have to play the entire game without talking, and like, oh, like, probably the last achievement I'll ever get for this game because just to be able to play it without talk, like I could never. How he would. No, whoa, 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 I'm going the wrong way. I wish you could run in this game, but you can't. Hmm. So from Epiphany, there's a way to get to town without going through those woods. I don't know what this finger is doing. I'm just doing all kinds of stuff with it. I'm just going to see if I can get to the next loading screen, and then that's where I'll stop the video. So not Epiphany, but the next place. That's the comm tower, which we don't want to go to. This is Milner Outpost, but it's further... It's that way. So you go to Fort Milner. Epiphany Field. Okay, so you can go in this way. Down. Whoa. Alright, now I know we're going the right way. Fucking down the bridge, gonna turn to dirt road. Go into the post office, that's faux shout. Mm. Oh, we could have went. I'm dumb. Like, big dumb. <laughs> Slide down the hill, bro. Okay, so there's her. There's the house. It's got the gate. I'm gonna ignore that for now. Run across this bridge of scary scariness. Make it to the other side of safety, safetyness. I feel like something's gonna happen. This is an anomaly. Alright, and then we're going back into town. Saving. And that's a good place to stop once it loads back in. I don't know what this was. Alright, and there we go. Alright, let me just make sure we're on the map. Where are we at? Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Alright, so we're, yeah, we're going back at Alright, so there we go. Alright, so thank y'all for watching uh, part three of Oxen Free. If you're new to the channel, hit like and subscribe. Would love to see you join in the Spice Rack. We're growing bigger every day. Uh, videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, when Oxen Free, you know, I don't, we're not really halfway yet, kind of like midway. We're not halfway, but we're wait, really, really me? Like, we're like maybe almost midway. So once we get midway, um, I'll say, I love how like you cross out. It's kind of cute. Um, once we're midway, and I don't know what series is going to replace this. I'm going to come up with one. It'll be like another story based game. Uh, so I don't, you know, I don't know. And if you have a suggestion, just send me a comment and I will put one in for you. But other than that, this is your host, Spicy, signing off, and I will see y'all next time. Take care.